I met Alyssa 13 years ago through a mutual friend of ours in high school. Ever since then, through a series of parties that my mother still smacks me over at her house and a bunch of other various hangouts, we became very, very dear friends. I met Luke shortly after their first date. I questioned if he was capable of being a romantic due to the uh, location that he took her, Hog's Wallow. <laughs> It's a bar that's actually at the base of this very canyon. In spite of his first date location, I liked him from the get-go. He's a great guy, he's my kind of people. And with that, I thought he was doomed. <laughs> he's a laid-back jokester, and Alyssa's a very well-planned out and focused individual. Didn't see that meshing very well. Happily, I was wrong. However, 
in spite of my initial assessments. Their first date, they stayed until closing and said that everything went without any kind of uh, worry or any, any strife, anything. It was effortless. That's the word I'm looking for. After the date, Melissa called her best friend, Sindel, said that she had possibly just met her, her husband, which is very uncharacteristic. <laughs> Over the next two years, we got to know Luke, and he just became a part of the family, a missing piece we didn't know we, we needed in there. And now over those two years, I've watched these two as they balance each other out in a most beautiful manner. Their personalities come together very wonderfully. You should see the inside jokes these guys have with one another. It's like they've been dating for years. We did in fact find out Luke could be a romantic though, because two years to the day, April 25th, they were back at Hogswallow of all places. And Luke professed how deep his love was for Alyssa by proposing to her. She said yes, obviously. <laughs> and now I'd like to take a moment, have you guys close your eyes, take some deep breaths, remember the smells in the air, remember the feeling of you guys' hands in one another. I want you guys to look around at this audience, see who's come to join you on this special day, all the smiling faces. Everyone here is here for you guys. We all love you very much. Happiness is a choice and purpose a charted course. Marriage is a profession of a special kind of love. A love that two people, after getting to know one another, is found in and for one another. It's the result of looking past imperfections and finding what makes you smile, what makes you happy with one another. Alyssa and Luke have given me some of the things that they love about one another and would like me to read them to you all. We'll start with Alyssa's. What Alyssa said is, what I love and appreciate most about Luke is how full of life he is in so many ways. He is patient, he is kind, he's hilarious, and he has a smile that is incredibly infectious. But what I love most about him is how he makes me want to be a better person. He's my best friend, and I feel so honored to spend the rest of my life holding his hand. Luke said, I love the way that Alyssa not only pushes me to be a better person, but makes me want to be one as well the absolute best version of myself. I appreciate all of the little things she does for me and support she gives me each and every day. I love the memories we have made together, whether they were on an adventure, tackling life's obstacles, or simply hanging out on the couch. I can't wait to continue making those memories for the rest of our lives. One thing I love most about Alyssa is her big heart and how deeply and selflessly she loves the people that are close to her in her life. Do you, Luke? Take Alyssa be your lawfully wedded wife, to comfort, to love, in sickness and in health, in the good and the bad, in the ups and the downs, no matter how bossy she gets, <laughs> as long as you both shall live. I do. Alyssa, do you take Luke to be your husband, to love and hold, in sickness and in health, in the good and the bad, the ups and the downs, no matter how much he jokes when you're trying to be serious, <laughs> As long as you both shall live. I do. Luke, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I wed you. I wed you. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I wed you. I wed you. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. <laughs> Well, you may kiss your new bride, Luke. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you would stand and welcome into the world, Mr. and Mrs. Salvador. It's not the mighty Mississippi, not the sunshine in LA. Not a snow-capped rocky mountain on a warm summer day. It's not the glow of a full moon shining in the night. There's nothing grand about a canyon that holds a candle to your sight. The most beauty that I've seen. It's 
not a trophy on the mantle Or that raise that was overdue It's not a wish that has been granted But being freed by truth It's not a winning scratch-off ticket But never need more It's not getting through the hard times But being better than before Nothing beats the feeling So nothing else will do The best thing that's ever happened Is you And my boy, because all of you guys know how I feel about my boy, um, they're gone. They're, I don't have any of that things. I just been, I got another daughter. So I'm, we're good. We are good. So welcome. <laughs> cheers, cheers to you guys. Welcome to our family. Thank you for making us a part of your family. I've known you for, what, three years? I guess sounds about right. You're a great man. Take good care of I know that you and I don't know each other very well, but I know that if you make my best friend happy, you have to be an amazing person. So, in the bottom of my heart, I'm going to wish you guys nothing but happiness and the best. And if I could get everybody to raise their glasses. I'm so glad everybody's here to celebrate these two tonight. Let's have a great night together. Um, to all the memories that they've made so far, the memories that we're helping them make tonight and allowing us to be a part of their special day, and the many years of memories to come. Cheers. It's incredible to see, you know, like Luke said, or like Joey said, uh, just to see Luke so happy. Um, I'm incredibly happy for you guys. Incredibly grateful to have lifelong friends. I love you guys. Cheers. <laughs>
shining in the light Out with our friends I keep thinking It's only us in here tonight I know that you're not looking for somebody But let me be the one tonight Don't need to suffer through some heartache Just let me be the one tonight be the one Go away. 